The compound light microscope is one of the most commonly utilized tools within a biology laboratory. While seemingly simple and straightforward, many students struggle to properly use such device. This video tutorial will guide you on the steps as to how to specifically focus in on a specimen of Paramecium caudatum at 400 times magnification. First, ensure that the ocular objectives and substage condenser are clean. If they aren't clean, you should clean them with the lens paper provided. It is important to only use lens paper. Other materials may scratch those parts. Now, adjust the substage condenser to its highest position at stage level. Oftentimes, this is already set. Next, plug in the microscope and turn on the microscope lamp. Keep the light intensity low to prevent damage to your eye. Look through the ocular eyepiece and open the iris diaphragm fully to give max illumination for the field of view. Adjusting the light intensity and the iris diaphragm can give you the best image of the specimen. Now let's take a look at the objective lenses. There are a few objective lenses available. Whenever you begin the process of finding and magnifying a specimen, Ensure that you are at the lowest magnification. On this particular microscope, the lowest objective lens has a 4 times magnification. Note that your ocular lenses generally have 10 times magnification. Therefore, the total magnification is the product of the objective and ocular lenses, in this case, 40 times magnification. Rotate the nose piece so that the 4 times objective lens is above the stage opening. Next, Choose the particular specimen slide you will be using. You will most likely see a cover slip on the side the specimen is on. Again, in this particular demonstration, we will be using a stained slide of some Paramecium caudatum and focusing a specimen at 400 times magnification. Clip the slide onto the microscope's platform stage using the stage clips. Ensure that the slide is properly clipped with the cover slip facing up. The clip should be at the same level as the slide, not on top of it. Now begin by moving the mechanical stage knobs to ensure that the location of the specimens is right above the hole on the platform stage. You should watch from the side as you initially adjust the stage to ensure this happens. Keep in mind that the specimens are only going to be found on the region under the cover slip. Therefore, the light should be passing only through the area of the cover slip to allow you to see what is on the slide. If you focus on any regions other than the cover slip, you will not find any specimens. Adjust the ocular lenses so you can properly view with both eyes. You can gently pull or push them to adjust them properly. Make sure to be able to see the field of view with both eyes, not just one. Now that we are at the lowest magnification with our slide properly clipped onto the stage, we can actually begin magnifying our specimen. Use the course adjustment knob to raise the stage as high as possible while watching from the side. Now, looking through the ocular lens, lower the stage using the course adjustment knob until the specimens are in focus. Once the specimens are found on the slide, you shouldn't need to adjust the course focus anymore and you only just need to use the fine focus to bring the specimen into sharp focused view. Again, remember that this is at 40 times magnification. Now that you've found and focused your specimens, you should use the mechanical stage knobs to move the platform stage around to center a specimen if it isn't already within the center. If your field of view is extremely bright or extremely dark, remember you may adjust this with your iris diaphragm. You are ready to increase the magnification now. The next objective lens is the 10 times objective lens, which, if you remember, combined with our 10 times ocular lens would create a 100 times magnification. While watching from the side of the microscope, switch to your 10 times objective lens. It should not be necessary to adjust the distance between the stage and the body tube before making this change. Now look through your ocular lens. Most of the microscopes have parfocal objectives. Consequently, if the image was in focus with the 4 times objective, it should be nearly in focus when you change to the 10 times objective. 
Therefore, you only need a minor adjustment with the fine adjustment knob to bring the specimen into sharp focus. You can also use the mechanical stage knobs to center the specimen again if it isn't already. It should be clear to you now that at 100 times magnification, both the light intensity and portion of the specimens available within the microscope's field of view are much less than when compared to 40 times magnification. Now that you have your specimen centered at 100 times magnification, you are ready to make your final objective lens change. This time, you will be switching to your 40 times objective lens, which, combined with the 10 times magnification on your ocular lens, would make the total magnification at 400 times. The steps are similar to before. Switch to the 40 times objective lens. At 400 times magnification, you should only need to adjust the fine adjustment knob to get the specimen into sharp focus. Remember that the fine adjustment knob allows for fine-tuned changes in magnification, which allows you to more easily get a specimen into focus at this high level of magnification. Feel free to make careful adjustments using the mechanical stage knobs to center your specimen if it isn't already. You now should have your specimen in focus at 400 times magnification. Now that you have that done, it's time to practice and practice again. One particularly useful technique is to randomize all the settings on the microscope and try to find a specimen in under 4 minutes, then under 3 minutes. Finally, when you are done using your microscope, be sure to turn it off, remove your slide, and unplug it from the desk. Next, be sure to store it back into its proper place, as per request by your instructors. Ultimately, the compound microscope is one of the most useful tools for any scientist, especially for biologists. With patience, practice, and utilization of some very standardized steps, you will be able to find any sizable specimen in a relatively short period of time. Good luck!